I've got Toker out and he's getting ready to go home and we're going to do a class with Toker today. This is a little different. I've never really done one of these on my week two send home. Um, but this is kind of how I teach class on Saturday morning. So, um, you know, we teach you some of these handling tricks. Um, Chris is my assistant today, um, you know, and he's been training with me for several years now. So, um, you know, and it, is, it helps when you can have two people and two dogs. Um, a is my assistant as far as out there. Um, she's had our training and she's here for some follow-up lessons. So this is a good chance for her to get out and work around other people and other dogs as well. Um, but basically what we ask is that, you know, I, I said that when um, I did Toker, I was going to expect quite a bit out of him because he knew a lot. He did know a lot when he came in. Um, you know, the biggest thing was is focusing in on what you're asking him to do exactly. Um, and that's where he had some issues. So um, I've really worked um, the last three or four days with him on working around other people and other dogs, settling down, making sure that he's not whining or carrying on and everything like that. Um, you know, A is a puppy, so she's going to make some mistakes, but Chris will correct those mistakes um, as she goes. And then you can see the same thing with Toker. When he's not paying attention, hey, leave it. No. Toker. I want him to focus in on me. Good. That's my boy, huh? Yeah. And that's what you need to do. Get close. Get his attention back off of whatever is distracting him as far as that goes. And then as far as distractions go, keep your distance. You know, don't expect Toker to be, you know, we, we keep that uh, <laughs> social distancing quite a bit with dogs because honestly, it's not a good idea to put your dog right on top of somebody else and challenge them. You know, that's not the whole purpose of obedience. Obedience is to make sure that you have control. All right, Toker, you want to go? Toker, want to go? Okay, let's go. Good boy. So we're just going to start with some healing. No. No pulling and sit. Good. Let's go. Good. No. Good. Let's go. Hurry, hurry. No. Sit. Good. All right, let's try to stay, Chris. Stay. stay. As you can see, I don't have 100%. No. no. They both have got to kind of get over the fact that there's somebody else out here. I don't have 100% of his attention, but he's not so focused that he's taking off or doing anything that I don't want him to do. We're going to go back to the dogs. When we release, we're going to start healing off to the right. Okay, let's go. Good boy. Yay. Come on. No, leave it. I know she's a pretty girl, but you can walk. Uh -uh. Good. There you go. Good boy. Good. Nope. No. Come on. Uh-uh. Halt. Sit. You pay attention to me. No. Sit. Hey. Good. Uh-uh. No. 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 Pay attention to me. Good boy. Forward. Let's go. Good. Good. No. Halt. Sit. Toker. Come here. Sit. Oh, there's my boy. Look at there. Good job. Okay, leave. Stay. No. Sit. Good. So when you give a tug, they should tug back. Two steps to the left. Stay. 
Back to the middle. Two steps to the right. No. Back to the middle. Back to their sides. This time when we release, I'm going to follow Aya. Okay. Let's go. About turn. Good. No. Good. So I'm going to let him get a little ahead of me, give him a good correction, and then see if he pays any better attention. Halt. Good job. Look at there, buddy. Forward. Let's go. Right turn. You're crawling. Right turn. Halt. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to do a little around the middle, monkey in the middle. Good boy. No. 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 Where's my attention? Sit. No. Good. Okay, let's go. All right, Chris, if you just want to hang out with her, you can let her free a little bit. We're going to finish up with Toker. So, as you can see, it's still a work in progress, but as far as, you know, he doesn't really lunge against the lease, that sort of thing, that's what I've been working on. Honestly, we want him to pay attention to mind when there's other people and other dogs around, um, and that's where I think y'all were struggling with him. All right, ready? Get it. Toker, come. Hurry. Yeah. As I said, he knew all of this. Get it. Toker, come. Get it. Hurry. Toker, come. Atta boy. Get it. Toker, come. Get it. Toker, come. Oh, did you get it? Did you miss it? No, you got it. Good job. Good job, huh? All right. So we worked on some comes. Place. Good. Places, just get on your bed and stay there. Good boy. Okay. Good job. Place. Yes. Sit. Down. All the way. Oh, and then belly rubs. Oh, I know, huh? Oh, you big baby. They really are. They're really big babies, you know. Um, so, in all honesty, he's done very well, but it's about following it up. We've got to make sure that you can do the same things. I know where to look for some of those behaviors, um, and we want to see that you know those cues, you know, as far as that goes, when he's getting distracted. What's going to work as far as correcting that distraction um, and then really working through that. So, um, you know, he knows the commands. He knows what he's supposed to do. Now we've got to relay it to you. And we're going to do a lot of that in Saturday classes. You know, this is not something that um, comes easy, unfortunately. Um, you know, especially with an unneutered male, their attention is going to be um, misfocused a lot of times. Um, but you do have to kind of work through those misfocuses. Um, and it takes a little bit, you know, uh, guys tend to have a little bit easier time than women. Uh, that's just the truth of it, that we have, they have a deeper voice, you know. Um, I've just been doing this for so many years. I think that the dogs just respect me because I don't, I don't really put up with it. And I kind of keep going if they make the mistake and really, kind of, and I praise, praise rewards. You know, when he's doing good, make sure he knows he's doing good. That's honestly some of the best training advice I can give anybody. We don't give enough praise for when they're doing things right. And we're really kind of frustrated when they do things wrong and it's just the nature of humans but we do have to remember to praise those good times as well so um, we're going to put him up and give him a bath get him all cleaned up and see how he does when you get here